Hi everyone, Giuliano here. Along with your business account in Microsoft Teams desktop, you can have your personal account as well. Basically, you can work with two instances of Microsoft Teams desktop, allowing you to chat with your family and friends. Ok, let's move forward and I'll show you every step. Here I am in Microsoft Teams desktop. If I click in the profile picture in the top right corner, I can see that I am connected with my business account. Below there is this option Accounts and Orgs. If I click on it, this opens a summary panel page where I can see my business account and below there is this plus button Add Personal Account. Going back, I have this button as well here listed Add Personal Account. Let's click on it. This opens this pop-up and here are listed all my personal account. Previously, I already joined Microsoft Teams desktop with all these three personal accounts. That's the reason why they are listed here now. Let me click now on this one and this open a second instance of Microsoft Teams desktop. If I open the taskbar, we can see that I have one instance of Microsoft Teams for my business account and a second one for my personal account. So here I have the chat, I can expand this window. I have the chat, I have my personal calendar with all my appointments. There is this button apps, there is also the activity. So I can stay closer to my friends and family. Now here I have independent settings. If I click on the settings and more on the ellipsis button and then settings, we can see that I have the settings panel here available. Now here I can set the dark view, for example, for my personal account. And then I can switch back on my business account with the normal and default view. Then again, clicking on the ellipsis button and then on settings in the section accounts, I can see my personal account and all my tenant, or better, my personal tenant, and there all other tenants where I am guests. Here I can click on three dots, I can turn off notification or I can switch going directly in this tenant. Okay, we have seen in this short video tutorial how to work with your personal and business account in Microsoft Teams together. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!